Welcome back to CF Tesla and another Tips Friday. Today we're gonna to be talking all about sentry mode, why you need it, what it is, how to set it up. I'm gonna go look around the UI and explain to you how all that works coming up next. Okay, first up, what is Sentry Mode? Sentry View Mode is the alarm system that comes inside of all Teslas. It utilizes the four cameras around the car to watch what is going on. The two side cameras, the front and rear camera. When it detects somebody around the car, it will flash at them, letting them know that it does detect them, as well as it will record them coming up to the car, all around the car, about 10 minutes worth of footage of that person or event. It could be a car driving by, it could be a person walking up to the car, whatever, something moved around the car, all being recorded together. The center screen inside of your car displays an image letting people know that the alarm system is on and that it is recording. And then as long as you have your zip drive or flash drive or SSD, whatever you're using inside of your car, and we'll talk about that in a minute, it will record all that data there for you. It'll alert you when you get into the car that it has some new recordings and it will allow you to actually view them. So we're gonna go through each of those things next. Okay, so I just got back inside of the car after walking around it a few times and you can see down here, it says there are five events that have occurred and you can tap to view. Now, you cannot yet do it through the Tesla app. And by that I mean, you cannot look on the app to see how many Sentry View alerts you have actually gotten or that you've even gotten any to go look at. What you can do, however, is come down into your security tab and you can see your Sentry mode right here, how it's toggled on, and you can click on view camera. We'll do that in a minute when I'm out of the car. You cannot view the live camera feeds while you are sitting inside of your car. In fact, I'll just show you it right now. So come in your security tab and click on the little blue link that says view live camera. Now remember while this is loading up, this can take sometimes five, 10 seconds. Sometimes you may even have to refresh it a few times to get it going depending on the internet connection your car has and your phone has. Also make sure there is nobody in the car. So if your wife's driving or someone else, you won't be able to pull it up. The car must be locked and shut and then you can open it up. So here we are in the app. You can see my neighbor's house out the front camera. I can hit the right camera right here and we can look back at my house right there. We can look on the left and we can look behind the car. And this works really quite well. It's actually quite exciting because my neighbor kids oftentimes will come outside to play and I'll start talking to them actually because if you have a model of car that has a speaker in the front wheel well, front right wheel wall, you can actually press this little microphone right there and it'll talk out of it in kind of a robot voice. Here's a few examples of that. Rough day today, wasn't it, Nico? Your mom's having a rough day. Really? You're gonna tell me your mom jokes after a drive like we just had? Fine, sorry. So if someone's walking up to your car, you can be like, hey, get away from my car. Now, if there's a whole bunch of people around your car, say maybe someone's leaning on it, you can also make it honk, or you can hit the flash to make the lights start flashing to kind of deter people away from your car. I've had to do that one time myself when someone was leaning against my car with their zippers and everything, and they did scratch it uh, while they're talking to somebody. I mean, who does that anyway? This is how that works. So if you get inside of your car and it says you have some events there, you can get to it a couple different ways. First and the simplest way is to hit tap to view. So we'll tap that right there and it's gonna load up our camera here. It has a date up there, has me walking by. It has the time of the clip that it was taken. This looks like a five, six minute clip here. And you can see here that this is where I was, the event actually occurred. So the red dot means that's where it occurred. This is where it's currently playing from now. And they do it like this so that you don't have to watch the whole thing and try and find where the event occurred. So because the car is recording in a loop, it's able to capture before and after the event that actually happens, pretty cool. So you could take it and you can slide your finger along to right before it, and then you can just simply let it play. And you can see, hey, there I am, walking past the front of the car, or corner of the car. You can also change camera angles. So if I wanna look at the left here, there I am peeking through the window. You can look at the right here as well. You can look at the rear camera, and then back at the front again. So you can actually follow me walking all around the car. Now, if you want to look at previous clips, all you have to do is come up here to these three tabs right here, the three little lines, the menu button we're used to seeing, and you have all your clips combined in here. This is Sentry View, your alarm, as well as your dash cam. Now, we're gonna talk about dash cam in another video, but we'll just cover it real quickly here what the differences are. Sentry means your alarm system. Dash cam means, well, we're used to dash cam. Sentry is only recorded 
when something comes up to your vehicle when nobody's in it and your car is armed. Sentry mode is on. Dash cam, however, only records while you are driving and it records the previous 60 minutes. And when you go into your settings and you tap record right there, what it's gonna do is gonna save the previous 10 minutes. I'm not driving, so I can't hit it right now. Now to toggle on your sentry mode, it's right here. Press that to turn it off. If that dot is not filled in, sentry mode is not gonna turn on. Press it again, we'll turn it on. Now we're gonna go back into our viewer for sentry mode and we're gonna go into it this way from the second way of doing that. Now you can put it down here as one of your apps you want to always be available or you can come right here to the menu, click on all of them, click on dash cam right here and it's gonna pull that same thing right back up again. So if we want to filter these by just sentry, we click on sentry. Now this can take a few minutes to load which is actually pretty normal so don't be alarmed if that happens to you. And I even have a very fast SSD which we'll talk about in a minute running this thing, a 256 gig SSD. Maybe we'll talk about that right now. I actually have one by Jetta. Uh, Get Jetta is a brand that we talk about quite often on the channel. They make very, very good products. I have a Get Jetta hub. And so this is a SSD that they make that I have down below, but you can use a simple flash drive. I would just recommend having a minimum of 64 gigs because it's gonna burn through it lots of times. You also want something that's gonna be strong and made to write really fast so it doesn't burn out the drive you're using. Now this can actually go on like this sometimes if this happens, in which case you may just have to wait. If that happens, just re-tap on your dash cam again to bring it back up and then just come back in here and try it again. See, now this time when I click on it, they're all right. They're ready for me. I don't know if the computer just freezes sometimes or what, but all the different ones that I just had uh, come up here showed up right here. So here's the two from today. Now, dash cam, if you want to click on that, it goes over there and that's going to show me the last dash cams that I went in and saved, for example. Here's one in Federal Way. When I was going down the road messing with it, I went ahead and just saved that. And so these are all the clips that were saved from that dash cam. Now, if you want to remove a clip, you can remove them individually by coming down here and clicking the little trash can that we're all used to seeing. We just click it right there. It's gonna ask for confirmation, delete, and that clip is gone. You cannot slide, you cannot press and hold. There is no select all uh, to get rid of these things. They're all done individually from this specific menu. However, if there's nothing on here that you want to save for any reason, then what you can do is you can come in here to your settings, go in here to uh, safety, you can scroll down, and then you have a couple options here. You have format USB drive or delete dash cam clips. So deleting dash cam clips is gonna just delete the dash cam, not remove any of your sentry view clips. So this, all your alarm system ones that were saved will not be deleted, just the ones that you yourself manually saved that previous 10 minute loop while you're driving down the road. But if you come over here and hit format SD drive, then hit format, it's gonna wipe it out completely clean again. And so if there's nothing to be saved on there, that's a really great way to do it. Now mine says there was an error while formatting USB drives. Let's try that again. Now this is a problem that I have sometimes and I don't understand all the reasons why, but sometimes my dash cam will just completely disappear and I can't have access to it. And usually it's because I have a connection issue down below, which means it just needs to be wiggled a little bit or something, but we were just running it just now and now even when I go into dash cam viewer, it doesn't actually load or it didn't that last time. It wanted to, but it didn't come up. If this does happen to you, just go down into your dash cam, unplug and plug it back in. And by the way, this is what my 256 gig solid state hard drive looks like. This snaps onto the front of my hub. It works really well. It's a very, very powerful, lots and lots of storage and no moving parts because of the solid state. So if you have money to burn, you wanna get a good system that's reliable. Although, <laughs> I mean, not exactly the best uh, moment here to tell you that. Uh, I don't normally have this issue, um, but this is what it is. And how this one works is a little magnetic uh, arm kind of snaps onto that automatically. And sometimes it just doesn't get a good connection. So now when we come in here to center view, you can see that there is nothing left inside here. There's no more videos in there, that it wipes it totally clean. And it's a good thing to do probably once a month to come in and format that as long as, again, you're not trying to save any clips you already have in there. You can use other programs to like plug in your USB drive back into you know your computer to rip any videos off that you want before you actually delete it. But just, I would do it once a month to make sure you got a clean drive so you're not at a point where you're like, oh no, I can't put any more on there. Now let's go through all the settings. First off, you have a toggle switch here for sentry mode itself. Do you want it on, do you want it off? You can make it exclude home. Now your, your hard does know where your home is as long as in the menu, when you're looking at your navigation, when you tap on this here, as long as this right here has been programmed to where your home is, and if, that, if, that, if it doesn't say home, you can press on it or you can press on it and hold anyway, and it'll bring up your address right here and you can enter your home 
home address in there. And then you can hit uh, exclude home. So if, let's say you park inside of your garage, for example, and there's just no need to have it on. And you don't want it flashing and recording and filling up your, your hard drive constantly when there's just no need for it. Just that's a great reason to actually go ahead and check that. Same thing with work. If you're at a spot where the same people walk past the car all day, a lot of traffic, but everyone that you work with, maybe coworkers or whatever, you're just not worried about it. You can check that and then it will also um, not record when you're at that location that's marked by GPS. So what are some reasons for turning sentry mode off that we haven't included? Well, one of the reasons can be maybe you're going to an airport and you're parking inside of a parking garage where you're going to have hundreds of people a day walking past your car. Well, that can very, very quickly fill up your hard drive and it's going to burn a bunch of battery as that sentry mode is running constantly and causing quite a bit of drain. You're going to get back to your car and you're going to have it to instantly format your hard drive. Um, it's just going to be absolutely full. So that's another reason maybe to exclude it, which I know can sound kind of counter because maybe that's when you want it. But unfortunately, that is something that many people do because they're just worried about it filling up. Now for dash cam off, Options. you have off manual or auto so off is as simple as it sounds it's just simply off and when it's off you won't be able to tap record manual though is what allows you to hit record so it's as simple as this you're driving down the road and all of a sudden you're like you know what something just happened I want to capture you're gonna quickly just tap the little car button in the bottom left hand corner you're gonna come right over here and tap record that easy bing bing very simple it used to be up here on a little icon that looked kind of like this one um, but that no longer is available. And, and actually this button's a lot bigger and actually easier to hit with your finger while you're driving down the road. So it's actually kind of nice that it's there. Now auto is something that is kind of nice because what happens is when the car detects like an airbag deploying or your vehicle in an accident, it's gonna automatically record something that happened or whatever happened all around the car, 10 minutes worth of video, which is kind of cool. And then on honk is, is pretty neat too. I usually have that checked. And so anytime I hit my horn, which I, I don't ever hit my horn. If I do, there's like a real reason for it. Something just happened where I need to get someone's attention. Probably something I'd want to actually record. It'll record 10 minutes as well. Save the previous 10 minutes leading up to the time I hit the honk. Um, and then a little after. And so that's the reason why that is there. And, I, and that's something that I think most people probably clip as well. And this user honk all the time to get people's attention maybe you're hawking it you know some pretty ladies walking down the side of the road which i mean does anybody really do that but anyway that's what the honk's all about and we already talked about these two buttons here and that pretty much wraps up sentry mode and dash cam it's a built-in system that comes inside of every single Tesla. Just make sure you get your zip drive put in there that's at least 64 gigs, and then you go through and format it often, once a month, every two months, to make sure you got lots of space to run it. If you wanna view the clips, just take them, poke them into any computer, and it's gonna pull up the files. Thanks again for watching another Tips Friday video, and if you liked this video or you felt it was at all entertaining or educational, please leave a like for me. It helps to get this video out there, as well as leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want the next Tips video to be about, and I'm I'm sure I'll add it to the list very soon. See you on the next one.